David Tucker, District Officer, Redcliffe Police District. What happened this afternoon? Um, basically, um, just shortly before one o'clock this afternoon, there was an incident at uh, Deception Bay where a police car on, on uh, ordinary patrols was actually rammed from behind. As a result of that, the police car called up uh, for uh, ambulance assistance because one of the officers was actually injured and that officer has been taken to hospital um, with uh, some suspected back injuries. Um, subsequent to that, um, police have actually attended a Dalton Street uh, address at Redcliffe and uh, on attending the, the Dalton Street address, police have actually uh, approached the dwelling. As they've approached the dwelling, a vehicle at the dwelling has actually uh, come out of the uh, dwelling and has actually uh, collected three police officers. One of those police officers was actually uh, hit in the uh, leg area and uh, hit the ground rather heavily. He's uh, currently in hospital being checked over with a uh, neck brace on his neck. Another officer was actually dragged by the uh, vehicle and a um, third officer received some uh, injuries when part of the fence at the uh, residence was actually uh, destroyed. The uh, vehicle uh, on uh, coming out has actually hit um, another vehicle and the uh, driver of that vehicle has been checked over by the Queensland Ambulance Service. Um, a uh, power pole was hit, another police car was hit, a police officer in that car, that vehicle was stationary. Um, he's received some minor injuries as well and has been taken to hospital. The offending vehicle is then uh, driven into a power pole and as a result um, two persons, one male and one female, have been taken into custody. Are these officers lucky to be alive? Um, look, it was an extremely dangerous situation that they found themselves faced with. Um, obviously, uh, you know, I would have preferred that none of my officers were injured. Um, it's very sad that we're in this uh, situation where we again have police officers that uh, have been injured in the, in the line of duty. Um, it's um, something, I guess, that is part of our job. I don't accept that uh, it's something that's inevitable, um, but uh, it's something that worries each and every uh, member of the police family every single day. Was it so dangerous that they could have been killed? Um, uh, well, yeah, very potentially. Um, obviously, even with the injuries of being dragged, um, you can understand how close they were to this particular vehicle. The uh, matter is being fully investigated at this point in time. Um, staff from Ethical Standards Command as well as the North Coast Regional Office are here at the moment and are participating in the overall investigation. That investigation will take quite some time as to the exact circumstances of what's actually occurred here today. Just to confirm those numbers, is it the four that, who have been injured and one in hospital? I think you mentioned more in hospital. Than um, there's actually five officers in total, so uh, one from the Deception Bay incident and four officers from this particular incident, um, making a total of five with varying injuries. And two of them in hospital? Um, they've all been taken to hospital at this point in time to be checked over. As to whether they'll be staying in hospital, it's too early at this point in time. So uh, can we describe the injuries as minor or serious? Or um, I'm not in a position at this point in time to actually give a definitive as to what the injuries are. Um, the uh, update that I had that it was about an hour ago was that they were still being checked over by medical staff. And um, what sort of speeds are we looking at? This, the car that's gone into the pole, is it just a little dent or is it completely wrecked? Um, there's uh, quite um, significant damage to the vehicle. As to what speed's involved, that's part of the overall investigation as well. Um, and uh, as I say, it's going to be quite some time before we actually sort that out. We have Forensic Crash Unit here as well that are part of the overall investigation. I was just going to clarify how the, the events unfolded. There was something, there was um, a rammed in the back at Deception Bay. That's correct, yes. Do we have a road or a street name to that one? Um, Philip Parade at Deception Philip Bay. Parade. Okay, and then that led them to come to a house here on Dalton Street to investigate where the car was backed on to the four officers. Three, three officers, three officers and, and one in the, uh, another one in the car stationary police vehicle. And then the car continued out when his electricity... Correct, yes. And a civilian was also... That, um, that I time? believe that uh, there was a civilian in, in one of the vehicles and uh, that received some injuries, so he was checked over by the QAS, but I don't have any update as to what the status is with that person. Okay. And the ma man and woman are still with police officers? That's correct, Jess. So no charges? No charges at this point in time. As, as I say, it's part of the overall investigation as to what has actually occurred. 
obviously it's quite a complex issue at this point in time. Um, the uh, incident occurred at one o'clock. We're up to about, uh, what, 20 to four now. It'll be a number of hours by the time that this investigation is concluded. Did they reverse out of the driveway at high speed? Again, that'll be part of the overall investigation. But I, it was quickly or...? Again, okay. I wasn't there, so I um, can't describe it. Are these people known to police? Um, again, that's part of the investigation as to whether they're actually known to police and as to what the circumstances were. And are they the only two involved, aside from everyone else that we've run into, are they the only two involved yes. in the crime side of things? Yes. Okay. And approximately how many cars damaged? No, I've got no idea at this point in time. Okay. There's a couple of police cars that have actually been damaged, but as to the extent of that damage, I'm unsure. There's a lot of police here. Are you treating this as a major incident? Um, we're investigating it thoroughly. Um, and I guess that's important that we actually do investigate it thoroughly and that's part of the reason why Ethical Standards Command are here to actually overview the whole of the situation and in particular because of the fact that police officers have been injured. Do we have any indication of when this street will be open? No, not at this point in time. Okay, thank you. Thank you.